Hello again everybody, uh, hope you're having a good time where you are, I've, I've just finished exams, I'm sure you have as well. So today in the video I'm just going to hopefully show you some uh, interesting stuff which you can do with your iPod Touch. So uh, here we go, here goes. Right, so first thing I, I found is, okay, when you open an app, so just say camera. Right, so say I open it, right, now when I'm done, I'll click the home screen, the home button, sorry. Right, I'm taking it back to the home screen. Now that program, I've come off it, but it's not really closed. So, I've found out how to close programs. You could think of it as, when you lock your iPod, it's locked, but it's not turned off. So, it's wasting battery life. So, what you do is, you double click the home button. And a menu comes up at the bottom. Now the app furthest to the left is the one that you've been on most recently. So you click and hold on it. And all these red minuses come up. I don't know if you can see that. And all you do is you simply tap the red minuses to close the program. And honestly, no word of a lie, this um, saves a lot of battery life. Like even up to say 20 minutes of battery life just by closing uh, your programs down it's really handy okay uh, another one which I'm sure most of you know but some of you may not because I just happened to come across it accidentally is a screenshot so uh, to take a screenshot you just press the home button and the lock button on the top and you just press them together and a little flash and it will make a noise and that's the screenshot taken and you can go to your photos if you go camera roll right and the most recent picture is that screenshot you have taken and you can take that of something on the internet or say a high score you've done on like doodle jump or something and it's yes just handy because then you can just show pictures to whoever of stuff you've done on your iPod Okay, uh, right, um, okay, another one is, uh, it's called voice control. Now, I'm not sure if you can do this on other iPods, but you can certainly do this on, this one is minor fourth generation one. Uh, and basically, it is uh, a way of uh, turning, I, I'm not sure if it works for other stuff, but it certainly works for your music, a way of playing your music um, uh, by telling it to play it so let's say I wanted to play Jack Johnson uh, his album in between dreams so I you click and hold the home button until voice control comes up play Jack Johnson in between dreams and then it starts playing So if I go on music, and it's playing at the moment, yeah? And you can also tell it, stop music, but I'll just do that to save time, okay? Right, okay, so that's uh, three cool things. Right, the last two things I'm going to show you are uh, related to settings. So if you go on settings, go general. Right, scroll down a bit. Right, and then go accessibility. Right, now the first thing is, not sure if you can see that. It's not necessarily helpful, but it might it just makes your screen look quite cool. If you go black and white on, now it makes everything negative. You see? So it looks quite cool. Yeah. Right. And the other thing... So if I just turn that off. The other thing was zoom. So if I put that on. And it, and it tells you how to do it. Basically you double tap with three fingers. And it zooms in. And you can use that to move around. And this zoom also works on the home screen. So that's just handy. Say you don't have great eyesight or whatever. I don't know. 
and say you need to see something more clearly. Uh, yeah. Just turn that off. Okay, cool. So there's some handy things to do with your iPod. Uh, you could try these out now that perhaps you finish your exams. Uh, have a good time. Please subscribe to my channel. Oh, and also check out my other video, uh, which is an iPod Touch for 4G giveaway. Um, you can check that out on my channel. Just look at my videos so on. Uh, subscribe to my channel and you'll have a chance of winning that iPod Touch. Uh, please like the video, comment on the video, tell me what you think, and try it out. Uh, thanks very much. Goodbye.